Hey everybody, good news from the APU front. All desktop Renoir SKUs have been leaked by Igor's lab. Igor is a ex-writer for Tom's Hardware Germany. He's not famous for bullshitting and is in the business for long. Also the leak looks very believable, so I think it is real. And I thought we could go through the leak together. Um, this video it's not really scripted, I just do that on the fly. It's a good exercise for me to learn to talk. Well, yeah, so there were three questions I've asked myself before the leak came out, and that is, what is the maximum GPU frequency, the official one? What is the maximum memory frequency, the official one? And are there going to be 35 watt SKUs? And now if we have a look, at the SKU list. Obviously there's no surprise with the compute unit number. We already know from Mobile Renoir that there is a maximum of eight compute units on the die or active, which is not a problem because we can see here that we have a maximum frequency of 2.1 gigahertz, which is insane. and. Um, Obviously, that's just for the uh, for the highest end uh, SKUs, but if the high end SKUs has uh, such a high frequency, most other SKUs, if it, if they are unlocked, that's the big question, will be able to reach this frequency also. That has been the case in the past, and there's not not really a reason why that uh, shouldn't be the case this time. So this is insanely good news for sick people like me who are obsessed with APUs and I cannot wait to get my hands on um, yeah, one of those. Then, well okay, the other also important question is obviously the maximum CP CPU frequency and if we look here we it gets up to almost 4.5 gigahertz which is very great. Uh, for me, I don't really care that much for very high CPU frequency as because when I game on an APU, it's most of the time it's uh, GPU limited. Unless maybe you play uh, CSGO or Dota with reduced settings, then this is very fine. And then we had the other question about are there going to be 35 watt SKUs? And 35 watt SKUs are very important for the o OEM market. And they are very important for guys like me who want a small, a tiny system like a Intel Nuke. I'm not really sure. Do you say Nuke or NUC? Uh, don't know. Maybe you can tell me that in the comments. <laughs> yeah. So there are a lot of SKUs, which is a good sign. <laughs> If you remember, for Picasso desktop, there were two SKUs. And for Raven Ridge desktop, there were um, four SKUs. There were also the GE variants, the 35 watt variants. And they haven't been replaced by Picasso for the desktop. So to see so many SKUs here is a, I think it's a very good sign that AMD is going, uh, well, not all in but they see a market for it. And what my guess is that, as I said in another video, that they uh, tar target the OEM market big. And idiots like me, obviously, with 2.1 gigahertz GPU frequency. Yeah, um, very cool leak, and I think it's real, and I cannot wait to test it. My guess is, they will arrive after summer and not before but who knows maybe AMD will surprise us and my guess is that on the GPU front um, oh wait we have the memory controller uh, so the official memory frequency is like Zen 2 uh, 3200 megahertz but we all know that Zen 2 can take or can run memory up to 4400 megahertz or more, so um, that shouldn't be a problem for the iGPU scaling and the memory limit. 
So my guess is maybe 30 or 40 percent higher performance compared to a stock Picasso. Maybe a little more. Kind of hard to tell because uh, um, I can't really guarantee that the DDR4 frequency can be pushed that high, but I'm sure it will go up to 1400 megahertz at least. Yeah, so how do you see those cues? Are you surprised? What would you buy? What are you interested in? Let me know in the comments.